Once again, here to find out whether plastic can be fantastic. Keep watching. Hi, uh, welcome back to Got A Ukulele. As ever, summary video review day. Uh, if you look at the link below this video, I say this every week, go and have a look at the website. A lot of people don't go to the website, but that's where there's going to be a lot more information. My final scores, specs, photographs, all the other reviews are there too. A club directory, beginner's guides, festival guide. So much information on that website. It's been running for years. Uh, and you'll also see some links down there where you can donate to help uh, got a ukulele keep going this isn't a begging bowl thing it's just a simple fact i don't take money from the stores because they would be adverts not impartial reviews so the only way i can keep the site would stop if it wasn't for donation if donations stopped because that, that's how i get hold of a lot of the instruments for you to uh, to review them and then get given to charity so my thanks to those people running across the bottom you can also help me out if you like what you see on the youtube channel by subscribing you know what to do i say that every week okay yeah plastic ukuleles they certainly divide opinion uh, i'm kind of in the middle to be honest I, I i either love them or hate them i think they have their place some people absolutely have an aversion to them and probably switch this video off now and that is absolutely fine that's you know everyone's entitled to their opinion um some i've liked some i've hated um a couple of weeks ago a few weeks ago i looked at this one which is the donna rising u crystal soprano uh, I've always liked some Donner instruments, their wooden instruments. This one came along, really liked the concept and the look of it, but it really let me down. It felt, sounded really tubby. The nut width is insanely, stupidly thin. Um, so I just, no, I really didn't like that. This is the big brother. This one actually came first. That's what we're looking at today. This is the Donner Rising U. No word crystal in it, just a Donna Rising U, and this is a concert. Um, available in white, like this one, black, red, and a mint green. And it's the same sort of concept as Enya Novas, those kind of things. So many of these around now. So basically that is a one piece back and sides and back of the neck and back of the headstock onto which is topped, dropped to top, and then the whole thing is coated in a kind of a paint coloring, which will chip off if you knock it. I've seen people do that, uh, and I'd knock this one as well. Um, but it's the same sort of concept, little thin body. Um, this one differs in the shape to the soprano of the rising crystal because this one has this offset shoulder cutaway, which is rather attractive. And like the Enya Nova use, I really like how tactile, there are no sharp edges anywhere to this. This is really, really nice. Um, over, over and above the Enya Nova, which has a molded bridge, this one goes with Rich Light. Now, Rich Light is a paper-based composite like an HPL uh, that's used increasingly by uh, musical instrument makers. Martin use it, Gibson use it, um, some really high-end instrument makers use it. It's a very hard material. It's very ecologically sensible as well. This one's a pin bridge, which I've never seen, I don't think, on a plastic ukulele before. Very, very tidy. Fitted with a plastic straight-topped saddle. Um, that's really nice to see Rich Light. Blackbird, and the, you might remember the Blackbird Clara, $1,200 instrument. They use Rich Light. So to see it on an instrument like this is quite interesting. Uh, no other decoration other than this chrome ring around the offset sound hole, which I really like. That's the same offset sound hole as on the crystal. And I like the way the fingerboard then dodges around that as well. This is very Lava U, isn't it? Um, a lot of these instruments are all taking their inspiration from each other. It's it's a thing. Okay, let's move on. Uh, oh, also on the body, you'll see there are a couple of strap buttons in this rather attractive gunmetal grey. Um, the neck is integral to the body, so there's no joint. It just sort of comes out of a nice sort of swoop. Really, really nice and tactile. Surprisingly, not overly round on the back here for a Chinese instrument. Uh, fairly flattened off. It is only an average 35 mil at the nut though, 27 from G2A, but I do like that it's flattened off there, that's nice. Uh, another positive, the fingerboard is also made of rich light, the same material, so very, very hard. It's a little bit scruffy around, there's some tooling marks down here. I'm being very, very picky, but the real positive here, much like the Enya Nova U, is the use of metal frets, because a lot of people with plastic ukuleles have problems with the frets, plastic frets wearing down. Certainly will happen with wound strings or even compound strings like Aquila Reds. 
no fretware with metal strings and these are also semi hemi fret ends which is a very high end thing we're seeing more and more on ukuleles now uh, the Enya Nova U Pro uses them. It means absolutely no sh no sharp fret ends because I think the frets are shaped before they're fitted, so you can't feel them at all. There's no ends to see. There's no fret sprout possible. That's a really nice touch. Uh, there's 18 of those joined at the 15th, although you can't use all of them because of this offsetting down there. Pearl position dots facing out at 5, 7, 10, a double at the 12th, one at the 15th, and nice to see there are side dots too. Um, beyond that plastic, Nut, incidentally, the setup on this is pretty woeful. It's over three mil at the 12th, it's too high at the nut. The whole thing needs to come right down. Uh, beyond that though, is this asymmetric headstock shape, which I really like, similar to the crystal. Um, that's the Donna logo there in a silver screen print, looks quite decent. And the tuners are uh, unbranded sealed uh, gears in this sort of gunmetal get grey chrome, which I think are really attractive. They work all, all right as well. It comes with an unnamed set of fluorocarbon strings. More on that in a moment. And a little goodie bag that comes with a spare set of strings. Picks a strap. Uh, the specifications say it's supposed to come with a clip-on tuner, but there was no clip-on tuner in my box. And it comes with a padded gig bag, which is all right. Uh, bet much better than the one that comes with the Crystal Soprano. I rather like that, actually. That's all right. And the pricing is always dynamic. These are only available from Amazon.com in the US or direct from Donna. Um, and the current pricing, when I checked, is $119.99. It'll probably be lower. could be higher tomorrow. They're always changing. But that is still coming in lower than the Enya Nova U Pro, which clearly it is trying to go up sort of toe-to-toe -to -toe with, albeit this is a concert, not a tenor. But with those metal frets, that's the thing, isn't it? So it's cheaper than that but then it is a smaller scale it's all going to be down to the play isn't it uh, it's not a lot of money i suppose and i really like the build it feels great i can't find any flaws with it uh, the neck's wonderful the bridge is really nice and tidy i love the metal frets i love the just the feel in the hands although it is extremely heavy this is a concert 780 grams blimey it's hefty uh, it does balance okay, to be honest. But what I was saying about those strings, um, they're unnamed fluorocarbon, and I'm afraid this is a pretty big gripe I've got with it, although a gripe that I think can be overcome, and that's that the tension on these is all wrong. They are far too flabby. I think they need to take the gauges down and put some thinner strings on it, because I don't think I'm getting the volume out of this anywhere near where it should be. And they're a bit flabby, and you, my fingers are getting tangled in them when I play them. I will do a side-by-side -side with the Enya Nova U Pro, which albeit is a tenor, but I will also show you what tension will do for this. Okay, first of all, volume. See, every comment I'm going to make now in playing it is a bit unfair because I think it's down to the strings, but I think it's quite flabby and tubby. The volume's not projecting enough. Sustain's not great either. Sustain. It's pretty quiet. Mm. This is where my fingers start getting tangled in it. And the nut is too high, so the intonation is going out. And I think a string change would do wonders. Let's just have a quick play of the Nova. There's just so much more to it.
there's so much more zing to that. But what I was saying about tension, let's just throw the tension up. Let's go up a tuning. So I'm gonna push the uh, first string up to a B. So we're going up two steps. B. And then F sharp for string two. And the C goes up to a D. And the G goes up to an F. Oh, sorry, an A. So we are in, this might go out of tune a bit. So we are in A, D, F sharp, <laughs> Sorry, I know this is boring. F sharp, B. So automatically, I'm now hearing, it's feeling much nicer. There's the volume. So it works. because I'm throwing that tuning. I didn't do it that precisely, but that's the demonstration. That's what I mean. This is, um, I think this is a really good little instrument. I like this. I like this a lot. I like the look of it. I like the feel of it. It is a bit heavy to hold, but I think it's up there with the, um, with the Nova U. But I just think they put completely the wrong strings on it. Buy one of these and put a set of, just put a set of Martin fluorocarbons on for, that will fit a concert scale. And I think you'll get that tension because they're thinner. I think the strings they put on are a bit flabby. what I mean tension it's giving you that pr projection I think it's such a shame that they've chosen the wrong strings for it how do I affect that in the scoring I don't really know I have I've got to be honest the strings are wrong so the, the sound score I've given is what I heard when I first played it but I don't half think that I'm doing it a disservice there because it's pretty easy to change strings um, the Donna rising U concert um, I do like it. I do like it. It just needs that string change. I think really that's the point. Uh, and that hopefully that tension uh, by pushing it up in tuning as I've just done for you shows you that um, because the volume is completely different. Um, yeah, I rather like that. I don't think it edges the Enyanova U Pro. Um, but you know what? It's getting close, I think. I think that's a, I think that's a decent little instrument. $119.99 at the moment, available from largely from Amazon in the USA, but also direct from Donna. Uh, the Rising U Concert. Uh, I rather enjoyed looking at that one and playing around with those tunings with you. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching and your ongoing support. It's so, uh, so much appreciated. It's a lot of fun to do these and it's really nice to get your feedback too. Um, should be back next weekend. Oh, I am back next weekend because it arrived the other day and it is something that made my jaw drop. Um, so there's something to look forward to. Go very carefully this week, everybody. Look after each other and take care. I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.